I'm Phil. And Viva. Welcome to a quick review of Colonel E.H. Taylor. Uh, just the small batch. They actually do a few different types. They they have um, they have like a barrel proof, a single barrel. Uh, I don't really know the ins and outs exactly, but um, anyway, fifty percent ABV. We bought this one last year, about a year ago, um, and it's about forty five dollars. We actually paid fifty for this one, but I've seen it. Um, in uh, like uh, bitters and bottles nearby. It's about $38 plus tax, so somewhere below 45. On the note, now it has to be said, we haven't been very good with bourbons, have we? We tend to be put off, things we've tried before, have we really got put off by few because it had such a soapy taste, at least to us? I, I prefer me. Soapy perfume, okay, but this one, I know in our blind tasting, we called it herbal honey dust, but I know at one point in the last few weeks, I said, oh, I think this is the best bourbon we've had so far. Now it's still dry wood and vanilla, those types of noses, noses, but there is something a bit sort of dark and musty about it. And I got slight chocolate and maybe something, it's a little bit bubblegum banana, something like that. Water, obviously, in this one. That one's at full strength at 50%. Oh, it's beautiful, I'm getting it. Sorry for that. Cinnamon. Cinnamon? And a spice of toffee. Oh, spice toffee. Oh, and a sweet honey. And it's beautifully yes. integrated. It's back. Almost syrupy. Almost syrupy. Yeah, there's a spiced honey. What did you say? Uh, uh, Hang on. Spiced toffee and a sweet honey kind of mixed at the same time. I put the cinnamon. And cinnamon. So the three elements together. Um, how and, then, and then in the background, maybe a bit of herb. Yeah, so there is a sort of bitter herb note as well. Now that's the thing that we tend to say is soapy perfume. Mm. It is there, but it's not there in a way that's unpleasant. I thought it was lighter ABV as well, at 50%. Sorry, that is slightly lighter. But at 50%, it's also pretty smooth. But the part, um, I'm getting a tannic tea. Hmm, that is pretty good though. Okay, comparison time. Um, what should we try? In terms of on the shelf. I am to get a nice uh, finish. Let's put it up against something which isn't a bourbon at all. Glendronic 12. Because from my memory, I thought this was pretty soft and not that exciting. And I just wanted to see where it might rank. Pretty nice, but it is pretty good. But I prefer this more. Yeah. This as a Canada. Okay, something bourbony. <laughs> Old Forester, nineteen twenty. We actually just moved it up to about here um, during blind tasting because this bottle's been open for a while now. And do we go straight in at the full strength? I guess we do. Fifty-seven point something percent. Point five. And that is fifty. Hmm. Definitely a bit more of a challenge. Mm. I think I would go to the nineteen twenty. Wow, that yeah. is amazing. So I think I'd put that ahead. Mm. I'm just curious, one that's off our shelf. Henry McKenna 10. In, uh, 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 oh. Yeah, it wins awards. But you know, every barrel, they're single barrels, so you know, every bottle is going to be different. So it's very hard to say whether it would be better or not. Uh, uh, but at uh, 50 ABV. That's true, both at 50. 
Let me refresh. <laughs> Hang on, let me take the full strength, 50. Mm. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm here. Only because the McKenna is a little bit oh. more tannic and oh, I think bitter. It's a bit better. Head of the Glendrana. But it's a first preference. Old Forester, a little bit more expensive, but about the same price. So that means we're going to squeeze. That's it. Oh, where, where, oh. Old Forester, back in here. Colonel Taylor. But you want to put it that high? Glen Alecky, Dalwini. All right. It's actually been, it's been promoted up a bit since our blind tasting. Actually, now After we have a blind. Finally, I'm a nigga bourbon. We have a boost. A couple of bourbons are fighting their way upstream. It's like uh, you know salmon swimming upstream. <laughs> Everything else is pushing down, and they're going up. Oh.